having to say goodbye to Ricky. You gonna be good at the bear sitter? Huh, Spice? So I'll be gone for a few days. When they were smaller, I used to take them with me. But uh, being he's seven foot tall and weighs about 550 pounds now, he don't fit in the front seat too well anymore. And he don't like to sit there. <laughs> and he's really got a big appetite, too. And give me a kiss, bye. Chug. Hey, give me a kiss. Come on. Chug. Chug. You all loaded and ready? We're ready. Traveling's fun. It, uh, you know, some people take a vacation one or two weekends a year. We go 45 weekends a year. I really enjoy being on the road. It's kind of fun. You get to go any, you know, all over the United States and you see things a lot of people never see. The first stop on the road is fueling time. This bear of a hauler holds over 200 gallons of gasoline. How many white stripes did you say it was from here to Pontiac? Can you count them that one time we went to Pontiac? It was like 300,486 white stripes on the highway, That's right? That's probably right. It was somewhere around there. 300,000, 800 something, something thousand. One of them white stripes from here to the highway. The average road trip would be about 500 miles, which is, uh, you know, about 10 hours driving time. It's real peaceful in here when you're on the road and the phone don't ring, and it's kind of nice to get away from it all and relax. Uh, she reads fan mail to me going down the road. You get a lot of, a lot of business taken care of that's, and, and kind of chill out. I want a westbound 18-wheeler. Usually when we get on the CB radio and talk to some of the truck drivers, we're usually lost. And then that's when they want to talk to you. If you're a girl and you get on the CB, they just jump right on there and talk. Fred gets on there, they don't answer. But as soon as I pick it up and start talking, they all talk and tell us where we're going and how to get there. I'm going west on 70. Can someone tell me where the nearest rest area is? Okay, thanks. Well, here's home for the night. You ready to go to bed? Yep, I'm tired. Me too. Let's go to sleep. Boy, I'm hungry, Kevin. You wanna, let's get some breakfast. Time you were here? Yeah, I think you did. Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. please. When you're on the road as much as we're on the road, we have our favorite restaurants and our favorite breakfast diners. When we're en route, we, we always stop at our favorites. And I think that's part of the rules of the road or part of the tricks of the tricks of the trade, you might call it. Well, we're gonna have to hurry up and get on the road again. Your job is not boring. Every weekend. You see new people, a new city. That keeps it real exciting all the time because it, it's not the same old thing every day. Got to get you untense so you can kick butt this weekend, huh? Yeah, you got to get my neck ready for what it's going to go through. How many hours has it been, Kathy? We've been on the road for about 14 hours now. We're just about there. Another beautiful day just about to come to an end on the road again. The long drive from Illinois to Anaheim, California. Was it worth it for the world champ? We'll find out. Wayne Smolzanikis' competition in Tropical Thunder. Tropical Thunder qualified ninth. The world champ, Fred Schaefer in barefoot, was our fifth fastest qualifier. Tropical Thunder has never been able to beat barefoot. Is Wayne Smolzanik going to learn from his past mistakes? Is he getting lucky? We'll find out as they wait for the green light. On the start is Tropical Thunder with a great hole shot. What a leap! What a leap, and what's going on with the world champ? Tropical Thunder wins it, barefoot is disqualified. USHRA rules require that both front tires hit the second ramp and go over the cars. Barefoot didn't do it. The replay will show. He comes up and sideways and does not hit the ramp with both front tires right here. He's out of there. And Wayne Smolzanik gets his first win of the year in Tropical Thunder against the world champ. A rough ride, but a win all the same. No doubt about it, Tropical Thunder is going to have to do better than this if he's going to move on in competition. He was lucky, but he took a very, very rough ride over the cars, bouncing all over the track. you got to get that thing under control. 
When Barefoot left the line, it was almost as if he realized he gave it too much power. It was too late, though. He could not back out of it and then get corrected before he hit that second line of cars. That's it for round one. Let's go to Luann at Monster Control. Five races down, but we're just getting started on Monster Wars. Before we send you into round two, let's take a look at which of these hot wheels will be scorching up the track. All the winners from round one advance, picking up an extra 10 points for their effort. And that includes Carolina Crusher, Grave Digger, Equalizer, Taurus, and Tropical Thunder. U.S. Hot Rod Association rules dictate that the three fastest losers will also advance. So that gives Barefoot one more chance to keep his wheels on the course and do battle in round two. But winning is all that matters from now on. There's no second chances, so we're sure to witness some wild racing when Monster Wars returns. Crazy straws are supposed to deliver up to your place there after dark. Give us a ring if you would. Welcome back to Monster Wars. This is the place for the race. So let's take a look at the matchup for round two. Barefoot looks to get back to his winning ways after his opening round mishap by taking on Carolina Crusher. Horace is readying for a showdown with storm and tropical thunder. A round one rematch finds Invader hoping to avenge his earlier loss to Equalizer. And Predator was scheduled to meet Gravedigger in another rematch. But it seems that Alan Pizzo is unable to make it to the starting line due to engine troubles with Predator. That means Dennis Anderson is awarded an easy buy run. Joe Lowe, will the Gravedigger rock or just roll over this course now that there's no competition? Digger just roll? No way. Dennis Anderson will give the Grave Digger 110%. The rear engine Chevy, supercharged, gets set to go against the clock for this round number two, race one. It's Digger. Today I'm giving everyone grounds for this one. Because I am the one who will make everyone drop to Is there anyone looming in the background who thinks they're daring enough to defy death? Well, come on. <laughs> it just could be the chance of a lifetime. Digger comes up to stage. Dennis Anderson is there, waits for the green light. It's Digger time in Anaheim. Off the start. What a leap. Where is he going? Luan, did you say rock and roll? That's what this guy's doing. Grave Digger is all over the track. Mr. Anderson, wild ride. Dennis Anderson gives the crowd a thrill and just barely escapes a spill in the Grave Digger. And this is just a bye run. You know, for a buy run, that was very, very hard on Gravedigger. I hope he can hold together and that caused no damage for him because he's moving on to the semis. Alan, Gravedigger's got a buy run. You're back here in the pits. What's wrong with the Predator? Well, you know, Jim, this is a new truck for this year. We haven't been having our problems so far. Um, I did some miscalculations with this new front drive shaft, and we made it to a little bit too long, so when the suspension compressed all the way down, the drive shaft had bottomed out, which, you know, in turn collapsed and pushed the, the bottom transfer case shaft completely out. Now, will you be able to fix it and come back next week? Yeah, we'll definitely be able to fix it, and, you know, next week we're going to, you know, do better than ever. That Predator truck is one to watch, and it's something to learn from for these other guys. Watch this course. It's a tough one. Tropical Thunder going against Taurus. Round number two, race number two. Tropical Thunder? Woo-ha! I'm shaking in my boots. What's a Tropical Thunder, anyway? One of those fancy fruit drinks with the little umbrellas? <laughs> Bartender, serve me up one of them there Tropical Thunders. <laughs> Hold the umbrella. Promotional consideration provided by...
Welcome back to Monster Wars. Today at Anaheim Stadium in California, where we're ready for the matchup between Taurus and Tropical Thunder. Taurus weighing in at 10,000 pounds, 1,200 horses. Jack Wilman Sr., the designer of this truck. Tropical Thunder, driven by Wayne Smozanik, 10,300 pounds, 1,500 horses. Tropical Thunder beat Barefoot, the world champion, in round number one, but it was a bumpy ride. Did he learn something from that one? Can he smooth it out? Let's find out. Tropical Thunder cuts a good light, gets a hole shot, and now he has to hold on to the lead. He does! He does! Tropical Thunder wins it, but it may have cost him an engine. There's smoke coming out of that thing. And that's it for Torres. Can you see how close that race was? What is a cowboy to do? Knocked off my horse at the finish line by a month. Thing called Tropical Thunder. Listen here, you old worthless sack of wind. I didn't have my bacon this morning. Next time I won't make the same mistake. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'll ride again. Taurus came into this race as the fastest qualifier. He was the favorite, but Wayne Smozanik aboard Tropical Thunder obviously learned something from that matchup with Barefoot as he wins it. First across the finish line, high in the air. Jim Davidson is standing by with a very happy Wayne Smozanik. Wayne, quite an impressive list of the victims that are falling at your feet. First it was Barefoot, now it's Taurus. How's it make you feel? It feels real good. Taurus is a good competitive truck. I know when we come over to the first set of cars, we had a good hole shot. The truck was good and straight. We put the power to it, and the truck just performed excellent. It doesn't happen very often against Taurus, but you led him the entire way. You took the victory. Now you're moving on. Feeling pretty good tonight? Yeah, I think the truck's going to do real well. Um, I don't know who we have next round, but I'm real confident in the run. Good luck. Thank you. The upset.